Happy Very Friday, Sugar Plums. It's Robin here with your daily spirit message reading for Friday, August 23rd. And as per usual, we'll start off with a card from the Fairy Tarot, which is endlessly delightful. So I hope this day finds you very well, and I hope that you super enjoy the reading. This is a great card, okay? It's the Ace of Autumn, and I'm guessing that this is going to relate to the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So have a look at the, the imagery here. There is a fairy uh, like laughing and having a great time and attracting wealth, okay? You can see that there are like coins floating into their hand and it's just really beautiful. So this says a windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a very successful project and a happy change in your career, okay? So uh, it's all looking very, very beautiful and I'm sure maybe we're all focused first of all <clears throat> on that windfall of money okay so um let's see what could happen i'll pull a couple cards from the crystal vision you know i know a lot of people say like oh money money isn't everything well it's certainly something you know it dictates where you live and what you can put in the fridge and how you can support your family and how you transport yourself you know so Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it there. All right. So we have the two of wands. So there could be some decisions coming up for you that will affect your ability to manifest. And I want to say that some of the decisions that you have to make really have to do with more of yourself than external ones. Okay. So um, reacting to things is not always in your highest benefit. So when you're given options, when there are like situations in front of you on how to respond to things, maybe just sort of calm down. <laughs> you know, if somebody yells at you in traffic, like sometimes you might be influenced to possibly react back or you know just flip somebody off or you know but you could just let it slide that, that could just be water off a duck and these choices are going to bring you in closer alignment with your higher powers with the moon okay because the more frazzled and on the edge that you are and like snarling at other people like that's not a very divine energy if you ask me so i'm gonna write something down hold on Plus, can be really, really difficult to simmer down and sort of smooth everything out after having some sort of an incident that's probably not even worth your time. And you never know what's going on in somebody else's life that makes them act that way. So maybe just uh, show some compassion if that happens to you. So, I mean, and the more that you can maintain this high vibration, I was gonna say vibration, I don't know why. <laughs> so this high vibration and sort of empathy and compassion or even just ignoring people, you know, if it's going to stress you out in any way, it's going to change things and, and you know, it's just going to bring in your manifestations as fast as this herd of thundering horses are doing, you know, just coming in super fast and super bright and you can thank yourself for that you know um doing the hard work and i did pull the temperance card here so this is a reminder just to keep your energy as even as possible because you know what who doesn't want this to be like living happily and maybe with tons of money or at least having good fortune and good luck you know if you're not super wealthy but you've got a bunch of other things going on for you like a happy house to live in food on the dinner table you know friends family you know i mean what else could you really want you know so anyway but because we did see the ace of autumn this is going to be one of those times where i would recommend a lottery ticket <laughs> all right good luck with that you guys take care <laughs> bye